Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching yet another episode of Eric Lehman Shenanigans of 1977. It's time for Virtually Purchased Acquisitions, where our host has bought something on the internet. What is it? Well, watch this video and find out for yourself. So, ladies and gentlemen, here's the man that will bring you what he has bought on the internet, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. This is episode number 1,552 of the show, and this is episode 75 of Virtually Purchased Acquisition. My package just came in. What is it? Well, I'll tell you about it in a minute. Um, <clears throat> um, so, I'm really excited. You know, everything is now running smooth, my inspection sticker is on, um, everything else, and just in case I had to order new license plates, of course, it'll take up to 12 weeks to get them, to get them, and once they, you know, once they come in, put them on, and my car will look like it's brand new again, even though some bird droppings are on my car, it's always, always the birds, you know, you park your car under a tree, you're guaranteed to get bird droppings on it, you know what I mean, it's, it's really crazy, to say the least. So, uh, <clears throat> yes, I am very excited about the Portuguese feast coming up. They're going to have wrestling for the first time since the 90s. Um, I mean, the last time they had wrestling was by when the WWE was the World Wrestling Federation back in the day. And usually they go to high schools and all that. And they and I think they made an appearance at the uh, the world's largest feast in the Portuguese feast. You know, as you know, it's known the largest feast in the world. <clears throat> A lot of people, over 100,000 people attend every year. And I think, like I said, the first time it only stopped is when um, the pandemic happened. And I think, I don't know if it was the year after or two or a couple of years ago that the Portuguese feast returned. <clears throat> I, I, you know, I remember when the Portuguese feast returned. Um, I think at the same time, I came up here and all that, so, um, in fact, next month will be marking my two-year anniversary being here up in my room, so this is a, a really cool thing, you know, um, a lot of things have happened and changed, a lot of things have changed in the past two years in my life and everything else in between, so it's a, you know, it's kind of a good thing, you know, you, you know, was it two years ago I got a new room, last year I got a new car, what's going to happen, what? Is there anything new I want to get this year? I don't know. But however, however, I got my package in. So I'm going to open up my package and uh, see what's in it. And um, so, ah, oh, it's here. It's here. It's here. My own custom made trucker hat. You know, I think it matches the shirt that I'm wearing right now. Give me a second here. I'm trying to uh, stuff everything in. Whoa. Careful. You know, sometimes when you have a garbage, you make a mess of your stuff. Okay. Hang on a second here, kids. And uh, there we go. They... These trucker hats, you know, custom made. And now these trucker hats, now this shirt was custom made because I created the design. They went with it. So I have decided to give myself my own Marvel vs. Capcom fine collection hat, put it on. I think I'll, I think I'll wear this tonight for Rant and Ray. What do you guys think? Ah. A little messed up there. Uh, that's okay. There we go. Now I can just show and go. <laughs> Looks like a geek, you know. People are gonna think I'm crazy doing this, but it, it, look at this. This is really really cool. I gotta wear the hat at the Portuguese feast. I was say, hey, when's that coming out? You know, did you pre-order for it? Yeah, I did. You know, it was a lot of fun. See, I got the shirt that matches the hat. This is going to be really cool. Hopefully it doesn't get too hot like it was at the festival that day. You know what I mean? So, uh... 
so yeah, I'm totally excited. I got my hat in. I'm look. I'm looking good, ready to go. <laughs> look at this. Really cool, huh? Marvel vs. Capcom fighting collection. Gotta advertise it somehow. Instead of yakking about it, wear it. You know what I mean? Just look like a total geek here with it on. You know. You know. You know. You know. People just say, well, "How come you don't?" You know. I was like, "Why you do this? Can you do something like? Can you do political shirts?" And I don't do politics. I told you that. That's gonna be. If anybody dares ask me that question, I'm gonna say, "I told you." I don't do political crap, all right. I just go out and vote, and that's it. You know what I mean. And if you want, if you wanted to me to tell you who I vote for, you can forget that idea. You know. But anyway, so look at this. Got the Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection trucker hat. I got the Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection T-shirt. I'm ready to go. I'm excited. Don't know about you. Now I'm looking forward to only is the release date, the actual release date for the game itself. You know, um, rumor has it it may come out this weekend at the Evo, because three of the games will be available to uh, play. I believe um, X-Men Children of the Atom is going to be available to play, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, and Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Because those are the three significant games that kind of started the whole finding genre and made it better, I believe. So, I'm excited. Don't know about you guys. I'm totally excited about this. There's no doubt in my mind. It has been a crazy, you know, Crazy month, crazy week, crazy summer, but it's going to get crazier in August when you got the Portuguese feast going on. That's a crazy event in itself. Largest feast in the world, over a hundred thousand people in attendance. I won't go. I, I'm not going to be able to go uh, Thursday or Friday because those are work nights. Uh, that's, I'm going to be, you know, so to speak. You know, like you don't, you know, sleep on a work day the next day. You know, like oh, it's a school night, and when they say a school night, I mean, you know. You have to go to bed early and all that. And so, Thursday and Friday, won't go Thursday night, Friday night. You know, because Thursday night, obviously, I got the uh, um, Rant and Rave <clears throat> uh, rant and rave podcast coming up and, um, and everything else in between. So, um, a week from today, uh, just speaking of, because, uh, speaking of Rant and Rave, a week from today, um, episode 250, we're going to interview Donovan Dijak, former WWE superstar, who recently got released, and he's been making the round, the indie round. So uh, we're going to talk to him and you know pick his brain a little bit, and um, <clears throat> an honor to meet. It'll be an honor to meet Mr. Dijak himself. I know my friend Joey uh, Fats knows him, so that's a huge deal. So yeah, so we're gonna have a lot of fun. So I'm probably gonna wait this stuff for rant, rant, rant and rave. It's gonna be. I'm looking forward to it. So, uh, yes, sir. Uh, look at this. I got my hat. Oh, man, this is really looking cool. You know? Can't wait. <laughs> you know, I should have I should have worn this. You know? And, you know, I could have... This is really cool. This, seriously. So, I got the Capcom Fighting Collection. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, there it is. <clears throat> Guys, this is the Capcom Fighting Collection, and I got my Marvel Capcom Fighting Collection gear on. All I need is a game like this, and we're good to go. <clears throat> Personally, I can't wait because now my Nintendo Switch could be the best console ever. I think it's the biggest uh, selling console in Nintendo history. While Nintendo consoles, it is something else. So I'm really excited. I'm very happy about that. So. <laughs> I can be just an idiot all day and just sit right here and say thank you all. You know what I mean? But, um, however, yeah, things are going to tomorrow is payday, or, you know, that means it's Friday or Friday. Yay! Getting paid. What's going to happen tomorrow? Yes, yeah, right. The game of strategy, look, knowledge, and daring bullseye will be on. Um, that's tomorrow. That's for tomorrow. We get SmackDown. As you know, SummerSlam is. Two weeks from the mar two weeks from Saturday. So they better, you know, get some matches going. We only had the World Heavyweight title be on the line as uh, Damian Priest defends against the two thousand twenty four King of the Wing winner, the Ring General Guta. It's gonna be a lot of fun that matchup. Uh, also the uh, WWE women's title be on the line as Bailey defends that 
against the 2024 Queen of the Ring, Nia Jax. Then, you got the women's world title on the line, Liv Morgan to defend against <coughs> Rhea Ripley. And then rumor has it that Cody Rhodes may defend the, the undisputed WWE title against the self-proclaimed new tribal the bloodline, Solo Sokoa. This is going to be an interesting situation, to say the least. And we're going to have a lot of fun. So, th that being said, that on, then you got NXT, who's you know, dealing with TNA wrestlers coming in. Not only that, some newcomers may be coming in pretty soon. Julianne and Stephanie Vacare are on their way. And it'll be, it'll be a matter of time. You get the Great American Bash coming up and everything else. So, and uh, you got No Mercy, you got Halloween Havoc. Those, you know, those events could be very important. Uh, who goes where? So, that's all the time we have on this show. Episode 1552 of Eric Lewis Shenanigans in 1977. And episode 75 of Virtually Purchase Acquisitions. And I got my hat. My Marvel vs. Capcom. My collection hat to match my shirt. I'm wearing it tonight for Rant and Rave. We're going to have a lot of fun. So, until then, until the next episode rolls around, remember, we got TNA tonight. Also, 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 pressure luck. We'll be, I'll probably, I'm going to try and do triple duty. Hub hoax, rant, and rave. Watch some pressure luck. And watch some TNA on my tablet. So, that being said, thank you for tuning in for this episode of American Machine Against 1977. Until that next episode comes rolling around, Mr. Announcer, take us home. That is all for today's episode. This is your announcer speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, Dorf of Bob Saget Productions, and in association with a Raven Bofa Telepictures and Distribution. Thank you for watching today's episode. Tune in next time for another episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. Goodbye for now.